Thank you very much. We want to just thank everyone for hanging in there with us. We know that this was slated from 1 to 5, and we're going to get you out on time, if not five minutes before. But uh, at this particular moment, before we bring up our executive vice president that's responsible for all of the revenue generation, uh, and the, his division is responsible for all the revenue that's being generated, if you will. Uh, and so you want to hear from him, and you all know him, and uh, but there's something very special that's going to happen today and that we're very excited about with uh, Mr. Buchanan. Before we do that, we would be remiss if we didn't take a brief moment to share with you for all of the months that this has been occurring, okay, there's been a lot of work that has been ongoing behind the scenes. I mean, this department has been running like you cannot believe, working um, all countless of hours to ensure that we're providing meaningful and substantive information to you. I would be remiss if I didn't ask that our team stand, because there are a lot of them that are not here. Uh, but I'd like to ask, so that you'll know those that don't know, as your RFPs come in and things of that nature, we talked about the committees and that the different managers are going to be engaged that the, for your area of expertise or your, your concept. I'd like uh, our retail manager, Carolyn Phillips, to please stand, if you will. Carolyn is not only our retail manager, <clears throat> but in addition, Carolyn is the lead on our outreach team. So we've established teams to make the RFPs happen. Now, the, the RFP team lead is our food and beverage manager, Peter Barwinkle. Okay. And then you've met uh, Kevin Sewell, who's our uh, tenant project coordinating manager, who also uh, works as our team lead, our co-team lead on the whole trip program. He co-teams with Kevin, uh, Kevin Lemons, who is our revenue manager, if you will. Is, is Kevin still here? Is Kara still here? Okay. And then we have our passenger amenities manager. You've not heard a lot about that, but in this RFP process, you're going to have services. You heard about a bank that we're looking, we're bringing a, a bank to the, to the table. Well, our passenger amenities manager and services manager, uh, Dana Cassidy, who handles uh, uh, that area of responsibility, that's the Pepsi's, the sponsorships, and things of that nature. As Dana Cassidy, and uh, as it relates to the TRIP program, she is working with the uh, contracts, if you will, the leases, uh, and uh, working as a lead on the whole design with the tenant project coordination team. And then we have, and I said, said earlier, our co-lead, uh, Mr. Kevin Sewell and Kevin Lemons, if you will. These are our co-leads on this whole uh, process for the concessions department. And Lord knows we couldn't make it without uh, our admin professional, Kara Richardson. Kara is our admin professional that really uh, makes a difference for us. And I can't tell you how many presentations she's put together. Uh, have I missed anyone? No, no, no. I have no, I've saved the best for last. Okay. Uh, our marketing department has worked with us. When I tell you, uh, we're launching a complete program called RE, and we were able to change from TDP to TRIP because of our marketing department, and Megan Bozart is here with us. She's always supporting us, and she's from our marketing department and just has worked with us tremendously, as well as our ADE team and our procurement team and our BDD. But the gentleman that you've seen running back and forth that it, that you're about to see uh, this next and final presentation that's going to close the door for us today and close the door on this outreach uh, program. This gentleman has worked, I'm telling you, day and night, and he has put some phenomenal presentations together. And he and our marketing department, along with some others, have worked to put together a phenomenal video, which you're going to see that will close today. Mr. Mike Spears is the man that has been running back and forth. He is our communications specialist, if you will. He is our um, compliance analyst. And what will we do without Mike, OK? So on that note, without further ado, we want to thank everybody. But we would be 
totally remiss in not acknowledging the fact that we could not be doing what we're doing without the support of our leadership, without the support of our executive team, and, and how they engage with us, and they allow us, they give us the autonomy, autonomy to do what we need to do. They work with us in day in and night just as well. So at this point, I'm supposed to introduce our Executive Vice President of Revenue Management, Mr. Ken Buchanan. 